Hello everyone, we're going into an asteroid field right now apparently. Welcome back to some more of the long journey home. It's gonna be another good episode hopefully. We'll probably... I don't know. I keep saying like this is probably gonna be the final episode and then it's not so I don't know at this point. We're just gonna keep going until we fail. Or make it back home, you know. It's not impossible. I just rate it highly unlikely, that's all. Then again, just because it's unlikely doesn't mean it will never happen. Right, let's go around up top here to get to the asteroid. You know, we need to get some bits. We need to get away from those tyrannical miracle. They already took a distress beacon, then made me apologize when I insulted them for it. Bass can do that. Where's that tin foil when you need it, really? I need some tin foil. I need some hats. Oh dear. Alright, let's go around you. I don't want to have a collision with you, if you don't mind. Nothing personal, but just a little bit personal, you know. Just stay away from me and I'll stay away from you. There we go. Get some iron. We've got a lot of copper and iron this time. I'd rather have some jump fuel. Oh. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Ooh, That got a little bit close there. That got a teeny tiny bit too close for comfort there. That's alright though. Right. One more rock and we should be able to get out of here. Could be, will be, two different things entirely, sadly. A little bit parked up in traffic right now. Shooting them does not give them any momentum whatsoever, which is a bit weird, because technically we'd be hurling projectiles at them. But at the same time, we're kind of using a laser, so eh, fair enough. Let's just scoot in there. And we get some three bits of gold, wow. Look at you. Look at you. Right, let's get rid of that copper then, because we don't need it. And let's jump out of here. Trying to remember right now if I already did the things we... Did we visit the starbase yet? Let me quickly check the map to see like, where we are. Ah, right, so we did visit the thing, we probably visit the other thing as well, we're probably gonna just jump out of here soon to that white dwarf over there. Just get away from these people. We can get back to the cut ice over there, that's good. I like the cut ice more than the miracle. So yeah. If I've already been to the starbase, I've already been to the anomaly, so let's go. Should've maybe gone fuel dipping, but the next... Nah, uh, the next system will have another white... Giant, so that will be a lot safer. We are currently almost halfway home, so that's good. Ah, we will prove that space has something for us all a whole new era for humanity. Uh, if you're gonna demand tribute, I swear to god, I will shoot you. Oh, it's the strange energy readings. At least they don't want to demand tribute, so that's alright. I will hail. Good day, angry readings. So we figured out by now that these guys are trapped. Since ouch, war glance and hyena lion winked. I'm gonna show you the head. No idea. Okay, uh, can I ask about self? He hung up and he left. Okay. So those guys must be trapped by the keystone or whatever. Like, attracted by it, I guess? 
I don't know how that works, but you know, it's not really our realm. Should have really restocked fuel. So let's have a quick look at the map. Can we see any like other locations in between us and the other base? There has to be, right? Nothing. Nothing. Oof. Looks like a very bare bones system. Ooh, you guys have got four asteroids, wow. So this isn't good. This is not good at all. Oh, there's a base over there. It's a jump gate. Would probably come from over there and it would introduce us to a new race. Is there any way we can jump to there? That would take us two jumps to get there. I don't know. But if that means that another, like, race is present here, or at least has a jump gate here. No. No further bases, which is weird. You have a lot of... a lot of things. A lot of gas. That's good, but our lander is kind of borked, so that's a problem. Oh well. Only one way to jump, though, so... We've got a little ways to go before we make our decision. And who knows? Mr. Unfriendly over there might give us a fuel tank. Or the anomaly over here might. Or we can all die. You know, cheerful as ever. Right then. Tell me your secrets, little anomaly thing. Tell me. Grant me your wisdom. Yep, it's you again, hello. What treasures will you have today? Alright, let's see what we can find. A broken entropy drone. It appears non-functional. Interesting. Should we return that to the other base? We might get a reward for returning a unit. As if they were to, like, call it. Uh, we can repair the lander, we can hack it. Hack it! Ooh! <laughs> we got a password. I would have thought this would have been longer. Ah, interesting. So now we can add... Ooh, yeah, we're definitely heading back now. We've got some hydrogen on that planet. Do we lander? Less hydrogen yield. So it's not worth it to go to that planet just because our lander is broken right now. Right, I wanted to investigate the dude over there, but it appears that he's trying to avoid us. Now what we'll do is we'll just curve and go. Got a bit of extra fuel. Feels nice. But now I want to see what the entropy have to tell us. Might not be the most strategical decision, but hey, it's good. Trust me, it'll be fine. Right, we'll use the sun to gravity, like, assist us to the station. We do take burns, so that's a bad thing, no doubt. But they did give us a little spin boost there. And we're almost up to two tanks of gas again. And these are the safest stars to do it with. You know, especially with our radiation shield. That's only kinda damaged. Only kind of. It's fine. Right, that should be an encounter. Yeah, there we go. Just get us right near the entrance over there. Now we will find out what they know! Otherwise I'm gonna feel slightly cheated. You know, you gave us an admin password, we've gotta be able to do something with that. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not gonna get too imaginative, you know, we're not gonna be able to like... Override their programs to either give us free money or repair our ship, that would be cool. But that's obviously just the power of imagination right there. Oh, your entrance is in a different location this time. That's confusing. 
They're working so much around the clock that they're actually rotating counterclockwise. Greetings, yes. I want to show you this. There you go. Administrator detected. Activate admin mode, yes. Holy crap. Hello, administrator. Uh, what about a restock? Uh, can I ask you about self? Ooh, a new word added. Huh. Current mission parameters. Expand galactic marketing reach for product designate Valcor grew. Conduct harvesting and self-replication for production of product designate of Valcor grew. Tertiary. Serve and conduct tax-deductible charitable outreach to customers and potential customers of product designate Valcor grew. Mission execution timeout not set. Inquire about Valcor grew. Valcor grew. Product code 843445. Loading documentation. File not found. They're doing some nice dance moves, though. Ask about home. Earth. Sol. Double life orb. Human. Sol residents of sector designated control sector 119. Precursor technology denied. Galactic citizenship denied. Observation limited to once per cycle. Last visited in local year 1675. Huh. Transsolar technology not expected before 6th galactic cycle. Gate to system disabled to preserve experimental sanctity. Yeah, probably a good idea. I don't remember any like, unusual sightings in 1675, so... Not even comets, either. Uh, anyway. Uh, shipyard. Can we get anything good out of this? Not really. This is surprisingly disappointing. Uh, can we do it again? I don't know. <laughs> Warning, galactic database corrupted. Please restart entropy hive cluster. Uh, uh, anything else we can really ask about work? This facility reclaims matter for future customer base expansion. Producing technology designate entropy units and additional devices as requested by customers. Please show schematics. Oh, that's just the usual stuff. Talk about Surly and Dawn. Yeah, alright. We're not going to get any more out of this. That was confusing. We'll keep that around just in case. You know, we'll definitely try to interrogate further units. We will input a more narrow search query next time, yes. Programming jokes. Let's go. We have a long way to go, and not a lot of time to get there. We are low on everything. We'll go for a tiny bit of fuel dipping, because we need more fuel, frankly. Nobody is giving it to us. Except for the entropy, but we're now kind of out of our credits that we need to jump home. Let's stay safe out here, people. That's a good call, yeah. Yay, it's a Ragtag Raider this time, instead of a... We've seen Marauders, we've seen Pirates, I don't think we've seen a... Uh... Ah. Fair enough, you are the Raider. I'll take your blood, mate, it's fine. Just boost out of his way there real quick. Otherwise he was gonna boop us. I don't want to be booped in space. There we go. Land a couple shots. Let him know we're serious. Land a lot more shots. Let him know we're very serious. Oh yeah. Ouch. That hurts, you know. Damn. Right, there we go. That's a good salvo. I'll accept your call. Enough. Do not prolong our shame. I'll take your coin, mate. Thanks. Ask about work. Black markets. Yes. 
We have stomach for conquest. Trust me. Ha <laughs> ha! There you go. Now. Oh yeah, right. We can't see the map or the black markets in this uh, little encounter screen. We haven't... Let me just check. Have we been here before? I don't think we have. It's getting hard to remember. No, wait. I think we have. Yeah. Yeah, we've been here before. Right. So we're not going to check anything. You just have hydrogen. Oh. No exotic matter left. Oh, crap. Right. Oops. And sadly... Oh, it's a Cut Eyes Herald. Bye, Cut Eyes Herald. You know, I'm starting to think we might n maybe shouldn't have shot at the Glugged. They're the ones that like materials for trade, as we found out before. We do have like three gold just sitting in our hold, rotting away. If ro if gold could rot, but it's yeah, it's an old metal. It doesn't corrode or anything like that. Right, let's go. Definitely feeling the uh, the roughness of rogue mode. Ah, I was on my way there regardless. So yeah, we are going to get ourselves a Raxact Black Markets visit today. Lovely. We must hurry. The sooner we return, the better. Yeah, yeah. Get a bit of fuel. Ah! Another raider. How oh, lovely! He does have quite a punch though, or a hole took quite a bit of beating there. Not gonna bother, mate. Why talk when we can fight? There you go, eat that! Shameful alien. I think one more broadside should do it. Oops. No loot? Ah, oh, come on! Man, Rogue Mode, you so cheeky. That sucks, we could have got money from that. Uh, the only thing here is iron. Yeah, no thanks. We're skipping that. Currently betting that we'll find some sort of exotic matter in this asteroid field, or the next one. Which we probably should, let's be honest. It's gonna be really weird if we don't. Doop -de -doop -de -doop -de -doop -de -doop -de -doop. Right, there we go. Seems like we've got two rocks here, not bad. Ah! Bloody hell, game! Can you stop doing that? You're trying to kill me, it's not nice. You're not playing nice. It's just rude. How many times have you thrown rocks at me now? I've lost count. The only thing is you can't even see them coming. Whenever they're there, you're way too late, and you're, you're just screwed. Would have loved to be able to scroll out a bit more. <sighs> oh well. The long journey home tries to kill you. The sun rises in the morning, what else is new? Copper. Of course. Well, we can fix the hull at least. There we go. We've still got a bit of fuel. Not a lot. I would like... I, You know, I'm trying to sell it to the cut ice, maybe. Because, you know, selling the fuel is ultimately way more valuable than actually using it. This 
for only 50 credits you can get a full tank. It's gonna take a lot more than like 50 credits worth of stuff to fill up a fuel tank. Right, where are you then? There you are. Hell, it's about time. Just don't fling my ro resources far away, will you? That would be annoying. Carbonates! For it also always appears to be carbonates whenever you get exotic matter, but that does not quite take us over the limit, of course not. That would just be silly. That would be quite silly, right. Next asteroid field better contain some more silicates then, otherwise we're going to have to go star dipping again. We'll probably have to soon anyway. The whole crew is starting to get a bit banged up. I mean, they're all on two right now. It's not that bad if we can get some healing items at some point. Uh, using duct tape for injuries, not the greatest way to do it, but you know, in a hassle. Better than to bleed out, you know. Bleeding out's bad. Duct tape's good. Right, let's try to be a bit more careful this time. There's too many bloody rocks flying my way to really trust these places about now. It looks like the middle arrow will be the closest one today. That's fine. We can work with that. Let's see. Still got to be cautious of all these rocks. They'll backstab us if we can. Actually, let's go for the other arrow first. It's a bit further away. But it's the only one that's off to one side. Actually, it's not that far away at all. I saw that going differently in my mind. I'm glad it didn't. Borates! Oh, borates are nice. It's only one, though. But still, that is a new fuel tank. Or rather, a new exotic matter tank. So we're good to go. Sweet. How do we navigate this maze? Oh, well, that's a tough question, really. I think we might be able to scoot through here. Yeah, we'll be fine. Ow. I made a mistake. Right, what are you? Ooh, carbonates. And there's another one right there. That is definitely enough fuel to get us one jump further. I approve. And there's one more rock as well, so, you know, we might be able to get some more fuel. Or alternatively, we can patch the hull up a bit further. Either works, really. Two things, not bad. And it's platinum. Not bad. Right, let's go. We'll jump on. Because there's no real reason to stay here now. Chuck you in, there we go, and let's get out of here. We have places to be. Really? Alright. We'll jump to America. <laughs> uh, we're now in the America system. Good God. And we're out of fuel. And that's not a white... That's a brown dwarf. Not sure how safe brown dwarfs are, but we'll use it. As a fling. Oh, it's actually quite a bit of radiation. Why did the starship fly through the sphere of the sun? To get to the asteroid field on the other side. Oh. -ho. All right, that with the borates enough to do a jump. 
Yeah, I don't think we had enough fuel on board otherwise. I mean, it's risky, don't get me wrong, but... Also, what just broke? Ship scanner. Structure and hazard scan unavailable. Oh, well, could be worse. Could be a hell of a lot worse. Right. All hands brace. There can be a giant asteroid flying at murder speed towards us any second. I already saw a fast one right off there at the beginning. Just don't try to murder us and we'll be completely fine, game. You and me, we can go our separate ways. She just need to I just need get need to get home. It's a long journey after all. Right. Rock should be closing in now. Ah. Uh, between a rock and a hard place. Quite literally. That's the rudest placement of stuff I've seen in a long time. And I've seen rude stuff placements. Oh, you'd better believe I've seen it. I've seen it all. There we go. That's a... That's a good one. Alright, let's go for the other rock first, because it's easier to reach. Cargo space is full. Alright. Um... Carbonates. That also gets us enough for one jump. And we get silicates. Oh, wow. Those silicates are stuck literally against a rock. Not ideal. Well, that's literally stuck behind a rock there. That's not good. We can probably scoot in here. Focus space is full. Alright, we'll chuck the silicates in then. And we get carbonates again. Oh my lord. Can't complain too much, we did get jump fuel. Probably didn't have to dip through the star, didn't have to suffer those burns. Eh, it happens. Right, what are we gonna do now? We're gonna shove you. Very gently. And just tell you to sort off. In that general direction, please. Uh, we're just going to wait here for a second, because he should be uh, coming towards us slowly. There we go. Patience is a virtue. Hit it. Get me out of this mess. Right on the wrong direction, sadly. That's fine. It's going to burn 90 degrees to the side. Turn us around to the other asteroid field. Because why not? There we go. No pirates around here. Which is weird. But then again, it is the America system, I guess. Just keep a look at them. I do a drive-by with all the millions of guns they have. Right, that should get us into the asteroid field, maybe? Yes, it does. All right, excellent. Quick check, you've got helium and hydrogen in that um, thing. I don't think it's worth landing over there for fuel. Or, I say landing. Dipping through the atmosphere. Would probably be a better way to describe it. Right, get the ship spinning. I love that little animation. It's like, yay! The ship's rocking as we go. It's not too realistic, I don't think. Oh, you're, you're using thrust. Yeah, probably not very, but looks cool. That's all that matters. Scoot by. I was about to say scoot by over here, but it appears like they've built a wall! How America like! Right. Well, we just went around the wall, so I'm not sure how they're going to feel about that. 
We got the resources, at least. That's what matters to us. Ooh, more borates! Yes, please! Is that... No, that's only one. Watch this be like copper. Oh, silicates, fair enough. I'm okay with other jump fuel as well. Good haul so far. You know, we just had to go around the wall. It will keep nobody out. Alright. What bounty do you hold for me? A full cargo space, fair enough. Check into silicates and we now have enough for two jumps. Not shabby at all. Iron. Fair enough. I'm not gonna complain. We got a lot of good stuff from that. There we go, we'll spread the love around. And I think we'll exit in like a northeastern vector to get out of the system. You don't want to be in America any longer than you have to be. At least in my European experience. Not that I've ever been or anything. But judging by this system, eh. Quite a bare bones place. Not much to see, not many people to talk to. Bye America. We're gonna go to a pirate black market if you don't mind. Those guys know how to party. Yes, they do. Let's stay safe out here, people. It's a good idea, buddy. It's a really good idea. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the asteroid fields, and then we're gonna go to the black markets. If we can sell them fancy things, you know, they might care about gold. I don't know. They might not give much of a toss. We might be able to get directions to an alien brothel from over there. You know, we've been there before. Maybe this time we will take a peek. You know, that part will obviously have to get bleeped out. For YouTubes. Alright, let's see how many space walls they've built in this asteroid field. Ooh! Plentiful bounty, at least. I'm starting to think we might go to the black market before we go anywhere else. Which one of you is closest? Uh, I think the one on the left, maybe? Yeah, it's pretty close. There you are. Lovely! Pew pew. I dropped one thing, it might be a good thing. Yay! Borates! Good stuff! Ah! Big rock! Ah! Small rock! Ah! Damn! Too bad we don't have any sideway thrust, no RCS or anything like that. I mean, we technically have it to like rotate, but... I need translations, you know? Kerbal Space Program stuff here. Th that way I could have slid sideways and maybe avoided it. Oh well. That's more carbonates. Carbonates are pretty sexy. I'll take those any day of the week. And there's the last rock. Looking good. Spill onto me your secrets. It might be some... Oh no, never mind. It's pretty damn... I was about to say it might be rare, but nope. It's like three bits of iron. Which still all have their use, don't get me wrong. It's just not what I was hoping for. Right, let's go. And I actually think we'll go... Oof, that was very close. I was like, please don't hit the big rock. Yeah, we'll go to the black market first, actually. I want to sell some things. We can make a bit of money. I don't know. We will be good for a little bit longer, and we can bring more stuff with us to sell at the later point. You know, the cut eyes are around. Too many injuries, not enough duct tape. Tell me about it. Actually, don't, because I'm already aware. 
It's a sad state of affairs, I tell you. Right. Let's see what happens in the asteroid field. And yes, I am gonna show him the ragsacked head. Of course I am. We've already established we don't give two shits in this playthrough. There we go. Scoot around there before a giant rock crushes us. I don't want to be an asteroid spaceship sandwich, thank you very much. Those are not very tasty or attractive. It's just wrong, you know? Like putting pineapple on a pizza! Disgusting. It's just wrong. Right, there's a thing. The, the entrance. Yeah, it's totally hidden, guys. Promise. Just ignore the giant buildings up top. Ah, you dare to enter the jaws of death. Be swift or savor your last breath. Yo. Oh, yeah. Ka-ching! I like you. We can get a subspace snare. Aw. Oh. Nanites automatically gather more metal from destroyed ships. Oh. I don't know. Would that be worth it in the long run? I have no idea. What about shop? You do have some expensive things. You don't have, like, much more than basic repairs. You do have some fuel, but we don't need fuel. I think we'll probably be fine. I'm going to show you the head. You kill one of our kind. You parade round his head? Ha! You clearly have guts. Want his job instead? Sure. Acquire a black package. A black package we give you. Its contents most private. Deliver unopened, if you wish to survive this. Sure. Here's another head! We take back our fallen. We pay the blood price. And think of him feasting. Up in paradise. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That went way better than expected. So how about work? We have no more work. Not for you and your kind. Visit other black markets if you're inclined. Cool. Dude, we made hella money out of that. Nope, nope. I want to go, like... Sure! That's worth it to me. See ya. That was fun. Did that do... God damn you, game! You just damaged my ship for literally flying through an asteroid. What the hell? Why? Oh, and yeah, we do not want to get caught with a thing in a... Yeah, no, that makes complete sense, trust me. I understand that bit, game. I really do. Do not get scanned with a racksack thing in my cargo hold. So... Show me the location of where we need to go. Oaxaca in the Pillars of Creation belt. Oh! Yeah, cool, that's on the journey. It's on the list, sort of. Ow. This is a rough galaxy. I really don't think we'll be making it home. We can make it over there, get like three... Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for there over Abu Ramayla and then get to Regulus. We've got a crap ton of credits now again. Because we were like, hey, here's a head. And we got a job as well. You know, if we can make it there without getting scanned or refusing to give the thing up and like shooting our way out of things, we'll be fine. And we'll actually get the Raksak to appreciate us. I don't know what's more scary. Succeeding with that thing or getting the Raksak to like us. I don't know. 
It means we'd have to go against a cut heist, possibly, but... We've already established we don't give two shits this playthrough, so... Sure, we'll take this all the way through. Just try to avoid any miracle. They'll rub it in. I need a tinfoil hat. Then we can shoot them. They deserve to be shot, honestly. Ooh. No, 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 no! Ah. I even had the foresight to try and dodge it this time, but the game doesn't give you any tools to properly dodge it. If you're not facing the right direction, you're boned! Enjoy being slotted on the front of an asteroid. Game's gonna give it to you. Only one silicate, really? You'd have at least made it a borate game. Alright, well, let's uh, try and do this the best way possible. We're gonna wiggle him out of here. He's a big boy. There we go, just give him a tiny nudge. It's enough to get us through. Shoot the thing. It drops one. This system is definitely not as uh, inviting as the others. Yeah, one copper. What the hell? This field is barren. It's greedy. We'll give it a negative Yelp review or whatever. I expected more from our astral host, to be honest. Right, let's say hi. One more field and we can get out of here. Whoa! <sighs> See? I told you this game's out to kill us. Only this time it missed for once. God damn. I jumped. I actually jumped at that. God damn. This game is really trying its hardest to kill me. Like, this is beyond reasonable. This is just... What did I do to get rocked? What did I deserve? Blah, blah, words. What did I do to deserve rocks being flown at quite literally terminal velocity towards me? I don't know. Given that the Rax Act are here, it might be a spice plot to try and kill us anyway. Ooh. There we go, sweet moves. Our asteroid racing days are coming in useful, clearly. Just be careful, there might be more fast rocks in the area. Although I think by this point they've all been like... Surely they would have flown out of our way by now. You never know with this game. It loves trying to kill you. How far away is this thing? Jesus Christ. That indicator is not moving at all. Not even an inch. Is it even worth going for this? Oh no, it's slowly getting closer now. Oh, there you go. Finally. If there's going to be any further asteroids alongside this, I'm going to be very surprised. Yeah, no, it's finally moving. That took a long bloody time. That's the longest flight I've ever had to do in an asteroid field. Yeah, he's just got a low velocity and she's just been flo flying ever since we got in here. Thankfully, that kills the velocity. Platinum! Oh, hell yeah. We could go back and sell it to them. Might actually not be the worst idea. 
Took some more carbonates in there. We've nearly got enough for two jumps now. If we quickly look at the thing. Like... Database, locations, galaxy view... Come on, come on, there we go. You've got an asteroid field, excellent. And a white dwarf. These are all red giants and yellow dwarfs. And black hole and... My lord. You should be able to make that jump. Okay, that's very important. I don't want to stop at a black hole. Not even for a second. What we'll probably do is, if we do find some more jump fuel around here, we'll probably save it for the next sector. Well, we're actually getting sort of close. I like it. We're still not going to make it home, I don't think. But we're getting close enough that we're actually seeing some fun content. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching another episode. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and perhaps a comment down below as well. Subscribe if you would like to see more. And I will catch you all next time. Until then, have a good one, folks.